Mrs. Ravello is someone who is extremely dedicated to her teaching profession. She's been doing it for many, many years, multiple decades now, but having watched her over the last couple of years, she remains at the cutting edge of her craft. She's not afraid to try new things. She stays current with the newest theories and pedagogies that are out there. Being in her classroom and observing her, she's always willing to think outside of the box and implement or try new things, even at the risk of failure, which I think speaks to her character and, and who she is as an educator. Not everything's gonna come across great, but she's willing to try and if it works, she'll change it, adapt it, manipulate it for the betterment of her students. Mrs. Ravello is a very passionate, very humble, very unassuming person who doesn't do anything for any kind of accolades or anything. She wants to do her job and do the best she can to help everybody that she can. She spends a lot of extra time on the weekends trying to find things to help the students learn so that they can accomplish anything they want to accomplish in her class. It's very important to her. I know she speaks about it to me a lot just because it is that important for her. She instills a lot of values as a student, as a person, as a teenager growing up. She instills a lot of good values in them, so she just doesn't really just teach all the curriculum. She teaches manners, behaviorism, how to treat one another, how to interact with the students, how students interact with each other. So she teaches a lot more than just teaching out of the math book. She teaches a lot more that will take them a long way in life and be a positive person in society. Mrs. Ravello, in my opinion, is someone who sees kids or students for who they really are. She doesn't pass judgment on what they may look like, how they're dressed, whether they have a strong personality or a meek personality. She sees them as, as people, as humans. And I think, my opinion is, is that she views her job as teaching people. The content that she teaches is secondary. So she uses math or other content that she might be teaching for the day as a vehicle to, to teach kids. But at the end of the day, it's for her, I don't think it's about teaching math. I think it's about teaching kids how to be quality humans and contributors to society. For me, I think that Mrs. Ravello is someone who, if you were to go in and watch her teach, she is a warm demander in education speak. Someone who, although she might not possess the loudest voice in the room, does ultimately command the highest levels of respect because how she treats kids how she interacts with them, and, and quite frankly, how much she loves them. She considers her students her children. So she's very dedicated. She's able to reach all of her students. None of her students are left behind. She's a very dedicated teacher. She's concerned on why her students might not be learning. She finds a different teaching strategy to try to reach each individual student. Barbara, she's very understanding and she really knows what she's talking about so she can go deeper into his perspective and she likes to teach us her own ways too. So we have multiple methods and multiple visions of the problems that we have been given. Math basically is something that students struggle with and you need to see different ways that you can introduce that subject. I usually start with my essential question, our objective, essential question, what are we trying to do in the classroom? What are we trying to figure out, okay? How do we use this in other situations? Not just get to steps, 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 and that's it, oh, the answer. Don't worry about this getting your answer, you know? Show me how this applies to your life. That's one of the things that I think my students kind of feel more of a freedom in my class, where it's not just what the answer is, but how do we get to find the answer and using it within ourselves as well.